video we are going to study that how we can determine the overall transmittance or transfer function of a control system using the signal flow graph. The overall transmittance or transfer function of a control system which is connected between or we can say that the overall transfer function between the source node and the sink node or the input node and the output node it is given by the Mason's gain formula. So what is this Mason's gain formula? Let's study it. The Mason's gain formula, it is given by T equals to summation K equals to 1 to K PK del K divided by del. Okay, so this is the formula. And let's see what are these terms T, P, K and del K. T is the overall transmittance or gain of the system. Del is equal to 1 minus sum of gain of all individual loops plus This del, it is also known as the graph determinant. And it is given by 1 minus sum of gain of all individual loops. That whatever loops are present in the system and you have drawn it in the signal flow graph. So just take the sum of the gain product or the gain of all the individual loops. How many number of loops are there? Get their gain and sum of all the gains. After that plus sum of the gain product of all possible combination of two non-touching loops. Two non-touching loops means there are two loops and these two loops they are not touching to each other or they are not having any common node in between them. So you have to take pairs of two loops or pairs of loops which are not touching to each other and then you have to take the sum of their gains. So you have to in this bracket you have to take the sum of the gain product of all possible combination of two non-touching loops. Now then 
minus sum of the gain product of all combination of three non-touching loops. That is, you have to take the sum of the gain product of those loops or the triplets, that is three loops which are not touching to each other. Is uh, if is if there is any combination or any triplet combination present in the signal flow graph which are not touching to each other, then you have to take the sum of the gain product of those three non-touching loops. And in this way, you have to find out the del. Now, after that, you will take the sum of the gain product of all combination of four non-touching loops. First four, then minus, then five. Then in this way, you have to take out the value of del. So del is the graph determinant. Now we have del k also here. So what is del k and pk? pk is the gain of kth forward path. Forward path means the path which is having starting from the source node and uh, terminating at the sync node that is the output node and along this path it is not traversing any of the node twice. So that path is known as the forward path. Now you will write all the forward paths which are all the possible forward paths in the signal flow graph and for each forward path you will find out the gain. So pk is the gain of the kth forward path. Now for this pk you will find out del k that is the value of the del which we have studied earlier. So for that forward path you have to find out del k which will be same as del but it is formed by loops not touching the kth forward path. So del k is similar to del that is we can write it as 1 minus sum of So we have in the formula we were having again let's write the Messins gain formula it is summation of k equals to 1 to k pk del k by del. So del is the graph determinant we have already defined del k it is same as del but it is formed by the loops which are not touching the kth forward path pk is the gain of the for a kth forward path. So for each this value of k will goes from k equals to 1 to k that is how many forward paths you are getting in the system. So for when you put the value of all these variables in t which is the overall transmittance or transfer function you will get the value of the transfer function of the control system and this formula is known as the Messins gain formula. It's a, it is very popular and it is commonly used for finding the transfer function. And we will next we will see some problems based on this formula. So I hope you have understood this topic clearly. Thank you.